So with the new anime season, there's always a bunch of new anime that we're humming and hawing should we give a watch to. And one of the shows that had my interest is this one right here. Now, the synopsis just gave me the impression that it wasn't going to be too serious and it wasn't going to be too goofy. It was just something with the way they explained it based on the trailer. It had a little bit of humor, but it also had some heartbreak, clearly, as we have a party of adventurers. Seen that before. Nothing too extraordinary. But the way it was sounding was almost as if this kind of almost like revenge pick yourself back up story would be slightly different, and I'm happy to say for myself anyway, that's exactly what happened. It honestly feels like we had four light novel premises with each of the four characters, who are basically, they've all been abandoned in different ways, and in any other show, they would be their own light novel premise, but by bringing them together, you have this mix and match of ideas that I've seen before, but they take enough detours to turn it into something quite memorable, I found. Now, I do have a full live reaction to this episode available on the Patreon if you're interested, so consider supporting if you want to see that. But let's talk about episode one here, because really, this one, it surprised me. I was excited to check out the first episode, but I wasn't expecting to maybe love it as quickly as I did. This isn't going to be anime of the season, I don't think. I don't think anyone's going to come out of this first episode saying it's the best thing they've seen in a hot minute. But I do think more people will probably say, I wasn't expecting to like it quite as much as I did, or at least that's how I felt and I assume many people might as well, because you have these four characters who were all tossed away from their previous life in different ways. You have our main character, I think his name's Nick, who basically, he this just kicks off. He's like, hey, the dude who raised him as a dad throws him on his ass. His girlfriend throws him on his ass after betraying and cheating on him. It's basically just like, you've seen that shit before. I was like, damn, th this is almost like the Shield Hero premise in a way, right? Just get tossed to the side after being manipulated. You have this one girl who basically gets also kind of like a relationship breakup storyline. But the thing that made her story a bit more interesting is that she then gets addicted to gambling, which then ruins her life, which I was like, okay, I wasn't quite expecting that. You have someone who's like this priest who then gets kind of like that real redo of healer revenge story plotline where basically he's just a nice guy he can't commit to any woman adult or not and this child just completely ruins his life with allegations so yeah his life absolutely goes down the shitter and then the dragon girl we don't really know too much of but some sort of abandonment but it's interesting because over the course of this episode they don't really throw you in explosive action they don't throw you in these sakuga crazy moments but by showing each of them in terms of where they were at previously and how they kind of got screwed over and absolutely betrayed, how they all come to that same table at a tavern and share their drunken sob stories to then ending the episode with our boys saying, we have nowhere else to go. We don't know if we'll be able to pay the roof over our head tomorrow. We don't know if anyone will ever come around to ever talk to us again. This is basically the best we got. Let's form a party. And obviously, if you read the synopsis, or hell, even if you didn't read the synopsis, a blind man could tell you, they're going to become very close friends and families, potentially more. You never quite know with these stories, right? But the fact of the matter was, this is one of those shows where it blends an almost Konosuba comedy level. I'm not saying it's as funny as that, or, you know, basically it's trying to be as outlandish as that. But you have to keep in mind, there's two types of these types of stories. You have that kind of overblown comedy direction, like a Konosuba, or you have the overly edgy, emotional revenge side. But this show, it kept it in the middle. Sometimes you'll see it go, heartbreak. Sorrow characters very down in their luck and you can say damn that is a revenge plotline but then other times characters are goofy and they make funny faces and they just kind of take the piss on what you're typically expecting and I can't really remember the last time I've seen a story like this not only have almost like four different light novel premises for each of its characters but most importantly, it blends both of those without committing to either one and making for a pretty lighthearted, funny, entertaining, but enough emotion that you can feel that these characters are down in their luck, but they're not going to the point of we're going to kill humanity or I hate everyone, I'll never trust anyone again. No, they're pretty pissed off about what happened and they're pretty depressed, but obviously they can get over it and they can recover with like-minded people. And that's what I really liked about this episode, is that, is it going to blow everyone away visually? No. But was it a pretty consistent first episode? I thought so. I actually thought Clamp was involved. If anyone knows of Clamp character designs, think of Kogias, Shiki, those types of anime, because there were some shots that very much gave me Clamp character-ish designs, but from my digging, it doesn't seem they were involved at all. But I like those types of character designs, so it's kind of nice because it feels fantasy-esque, but there is that kind of like extra element that kind of gives it its own identity. I mean, it's not often you can have an adventure kind of storyline with mythical creatures like 
dragons and then you can see idol dancing with the glow sticks and i'm like what the hell are we watching right here like i wasn't quite expecting that in the first minute and a half but overall it just felt like a pretty solid episode that wanted to get you accustomed with the idea show you a majority of their stories and yes, a fast-paced motion, but I'm glad that they didn't beat around the bush. They got enough emotion down, they got me accustomed to the betrayal, and I'm sure over the course of the journey we'll learn more and more. You can actually look at Nick as an example. The episode kicks off with him getting dumped and betrayed and thrown on his ass. Later in the episode, we get to see more that he actually gave her an item before then getting dumped, and some other dude was basically like, thanks bro. So I think that's kind of going to be the direction. We get the general idea in episode one, but over the course of the story, we'll learn more about what happened with their betrayal. Things will probably pop up in present day that will remind them of their scars, but they'll have a humorous yet emotional journey as the episode says, eventually this party will save the world. So there's enough here that it's familiar. You've seen ideas like these done before, but I think it's the mix and match of how they took all those ideas and slightly deviated them. Like in the case of a girl who didn't just simply get broken up with and a new girl took the boy and she got kicked out of her school or anything. No, she then had a gambling addiction. Like it's just those little ideas that kind of add together. And the fact that it's not just one little idea, it's a bunch of them kind of taking familiar but in slightly new direction territory, it kind of made an episode that brought a grin to my face. I had a really good time watching it, and I have to say, for one that I was cautiously optimistic about, wasn't really going into this one hyped up to being like, damn anime of the season, or damn this is one of the ones I'm most excited about, I have to say, this one did surprise me, and... Honestly, I'm more excited for the next couple of episodes than I ever thought I would be. I thought this would be a show that, because Tuesdays aren't going to be that packed for me, I'd watch it just to fill the time. But honestly, this one I'm actually excited for. Truthfully, the worst thing that I can say about this first episode is that I wasn't the biggest fan of the opening. Like, that's honestly, if I had to nitpick, that's the thing I would nitpick, right? Because... It's fine, it serves as an anime opening, and there's some scenes in there that have me excited about where the anime could go just visually based on some of the things they were teasing, but the song, the visuals didn't do too much for me, but that's like honestly the thing that I could nitpick the most. Like based on the ending song that we got teased with as they were still playing the episode, I quite like that one. So in terms of this, do I think it's worth the watch? I think so. I mean, this is one that has me excited. It airs on a good day. It's not airing on the weekend where everything's airing in their mothers. So I think you can probably fit this into your schedule, and if you like fantasy adventure groups, dynamics, and building that family, maybe even love bond potentially, I think this one is doing a lot right, and while maybe you can nitpick some production details here and there, I think this one, as terms of was it fast paced, kind of, but it did enough to get you accustomed and slowed it down where it needed to, and like I said, I expect more details will be revealed as the show progresses, so I think this one did far more right than wrong, but of course, I'll pass the torch over to you. What did you think of episode one of this one? There's like two different English titles that people are using, so I think I'll probably keep it down to the Japanese. The first couple of words there will probably be enough unless I can fit it into a title, but thoughts and feelings yourself down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here. Like I mentioned, full live reaction to today's episode episode and future episodes of the show will be available on the Patreon. You can also get video shoutouts, so do consider that if you so wish. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.